What's up, you colossally cantankerous cousin cuckolds? When you were born, the doctor cried, and I neither have the time nor the crayons to explain that to you. Ooh. It's your boy Rob, and apparently, I'm an asshole. We're at 20 episodes. 20 episodes. I'm, I'm crazy proud of this. This is the weirdest thing I've done so far. That's not true by far. Um, but whatever this is, I'm I'm happy, and I'm able to get some of my frustration out on you, Dill Holes. And I'm appreciative that you're here too. If you're a subscriber, thank you for letting us get this far. Uh, continue to tell people about it, and continue to watch. Just enjoy this shit. It's really stupid. Um, you've watched worse, I know. But um. Yeah, thank you for giving us a shot. For those of you who are new here, welcome. A little bit of a background for the show. Uh, what we do is we get on Reddit um, or we get on my Twitter, twitter.com backslash asshole am I the, or uh, submissions are sent to my email, am I the a hole 22 at gmail.com. And what we do is we look at these stories that are either submitted to us or to Reddit. What I do here is I tell you whether this person is the asshole, whether they're not the asshole, whether everyone sucks, no one sucks at all, or um, which state should we do today? Massachusetts or, or Massachusetts. Um, yeah, yeah. If you're from there, you're, you're an asshole. You absolutely suck. Here's, a, here's the reasons why Massachusetts is, is, is trash. The people, the people are absolute trash. Have you ever heard someone from Boston try to tell you something uh, without saying the word wicked? Uh, people think that New Yorkers sound like Bostoners, you know, when you're not from either place. That is far from the truth and we actually speak English uh, in New York. I can make an argument for New York being trash too, but you guys are, you guys threw a riot in 2004, like a, like a really big riot because uh, baseball and your team finally won. You didn't riot because you lost. You rioted because you won. And it was an 86 year curse. You know how bad it is to lose for 86 years in the World Series? Anyway, secondly, um, yeah, that language shit, that, that's a barrier. Plus, uh, Massachusetts is, it only has two seasons, winter and road construction, trash. You guys can't make a pizza to save your life. Um, dueling is still legal, look it up. And this is the state that banned pool water slides. You guys gotta be really fucked up to do that. You know, wicked, and now you gotta ban it. Um, you could ban water slides, but you can't ban dueling. Really dumb. You guys suck today. Am I the asshole for refusing to take down a video of my kid's father dancing at my brother's wedding? My children's dad and I got separated and divorced two years ago. We're on good terms regarding co-parenting, and since he's close to my brother, my brother had invited him to his wedding. Perfectly okay with me since the kids were thrilled to get extra time with dad. I was taking a video of mom and my kids at the wedding and posted it on my Instagram. Hours later, I get a call from my ex yelling about my camera catching him drunkenly dancing in the background. I said, so what? He told me he's getting engaged to his conservative girlfriend soon, and if her or her conservative family saw him in this video, there's gonna be trouble. I thought that was silly. He demanded that I take it down, but I declined. He insisted saying he was technically recorded via my camera and did not consent. I called him ridiculous and refused to take it down. He's gotten the kids involved now, which got me mad and made the argument escalate. Uh, mom is saying I should take it down, but I feel like he's trying to control my social media activity. Am I the asshole for refusing? He said his, that his girlfriend can and will see the video via the kids since they're with me on social media. Hmm. I'm torn between everyone sucks here and I'm not gonna say that no one sucks here, but there can be an argument made that you're not an asshole and he's not an asshole. Now let's just stick with everyone sucks here. Everyone sucks here. And let me explain why. Um, this is my opinion, the whole show is my opinion. Why am I giving you a fucking disclaimer? He's getting married to a conservative person whose conservative family has conservative views. Being a conservative doesn't make you an asshole. But if you're the type of person to be like, oh, I saw you dancing 
happily because you were drinking champagne at a wedding. Yeah. You're an asshole then, too. Um, it could be religious. You know, uh, some Pentecostal families are like dancing is weird. I don't, I don't want to speak too much on it because I don't fully know and I don't like saying things that aren't facts when it comes down to it, other than my opinions. Um, but they do have something about drinking in public. I can't remember exactly what it is. So if you know, just put it in the comments or whatever. So for that, it could be something where they're like, oh, this is a sinny sin sin. Mm -hmm. um, and they frown upon that, which in my opinion, asshole them. You know, hold somebody to some stupid standard. Here's where the ex is an asshole. You got the kids involved. That was stupid. Have an argument with your with your, with another adult and you know, just because you say something doesn't mean the other person has to actually go with what you say. Uh, and then you get the kids involved and it's really stupid. Also, if people you know are gonna have a problem with you dancing drunkenly at a happy event, you seemed happy apparently, if you got drunk and you're happy, whatever, whatever, um, then you're making concessions for them. Like you can't even dance. You can't even have a little champagne at a wedding or your dancing is just bad. Or you can't lie and be like, yo, I really can't dance bad. And then just get better over time and people will give you credit for it. But this is stupid. Do you go around telling everybody who has you on the background recording uh, to take it down off the internet? You know, like you recorded every single day. Give me a break. The original poster. Here's where you're the asshole. No, you're not the asshole for catching him in the background of some shit. Also, it's your your child's father. This might be funny down the line. You guys are amicable and fun. Well, not even fun, but just cool with each other. And this is just some funny shit. Um, you know, but when a person tells you to take down um, a picture or video off the internet, you know, come on, just do it. Is it worth... I was actually gonna say, is it worth risking the co-parenting relationship? But that shit's probably gonna get nuked anyways when he gets married. But I, this is why I think everybody's an asshole here. It's not that big of a deal. I think you should just take it down, keep it to yourself. Or here's the other thing. Here's why the ex is an asshole again anyways. What if you put your shit on private? Does his new girlfriend have access to you? I don't know, this is weird. I mean, I know you said the kids are involved, but that's just kind of silly. This whole thing is stupid. Um, yeah, everyone sucks or no one sucks. But most likely everyone sucks. Okay. Am I the asshole for the way I acted today? You didn't put anything in this. Okay. Okay. Am I the asshole? I broke my hand last night and had to go to the ER. Took pain meds this morning before eating breakfast. About 30 minutes in, I realized my empty stomach wasn't like the meds. Wasn't liking the meds. Rushed to my local McDonald's five minutes away. Waited 20 minutes in the drive-thru, ordered two cheeseburgers uh, and a fry. Waited another 10 minutes for my food. Drove five minutes home and then only find one cheeseburger. So I drive back to the McDonald's and I, I wait another 20 minutes in the drive-thru and say, hi, you missed one of the items in my order. I just drove home and back. Could you please add a 20 piece nugget to my order as compensation for my time and money? <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh. The person on the speaker system, hi, we replaced the missing item here. We don't compensate uh, extra items, with extra items, sorry. I pull up to the window and the attendant says, hi, yeah, so I talked to the manager and he said we can't give you any compensation for your missing item, but we'll be happy to get you your cheeseburger. I then said, and keep in mind, I never complained to service workers as I once worked in the food and hospitality industry for 10 years, but something came over me, the holy Karen spirit. You see this and points to the cast. I just broke my hand last night and I'm having to chase down a food item on my order. How could you all have messed up the most simple order? I'm very disappointed in this interaction and lack of service. The attendant replied, okay. Not sure what any of this has to do with your hand, but have a nice day. And then shuts the window in my face. Am I the asshole for my reaction? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This was funny. <laughs> this was funny as hell. Bro, you live five minutes away from McDonald's, right? The fact that you were that hard pressed for a cheeseburger and a 20 piece. So, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break this down. I, I, man, I hope I don't miss anything because this is funny. Okay. 
you didn't think about these nuggets beforehand. So you, you drove five minutes to McDonald's, which means you drove five minutes home, and then another five minutes back, 20 minutes in line twice, plus 10 minutes for your order. Dude, you really have that much time on your hands. Speaking of hands, what happened to your hand? What did you do? Did you punch a wall? This logic here about they owe you a nugget is frat logic. So I think you did some dumb shit. You were probably drinking and you punched a wall. Otherwise, I don't know how you broke your hand because you're not saying that, you just skipped over it. Second of all, McDonald's is not responsible for your stupid decisions. And they're not just gonna give you free food for that. Well, I've gotten free food before because I'm an asshole, but I'm a nice guy when it comes to service workers, you know. And on top of that, like the, the service person at the window had nothing to do with it. So you didn't even ask to talk to the manager. And they told you exactly what it is. Okay, so look at this. This is my cast. And because of this, uh, uh, I, I need a 20 piece nugget. You didn't even do it right. Seriously, do you need a 20 piece? They were gonna give you another cheeseburger. The two cheeseburgers and fries. You trying to do a come up here. You're a, you're a McDonald's scammer. <laughs> You're doing a come up. This is hilarious, bro. Like, honestly, they don't owe you shit. But then let's think about it here. You could have just said, you know, can I get like a four or a six piece or like a, like a kid's nugget. Yo, anyways, you're an idiot. You're definitely an asshole. You're most likely from Boston. This sounds like some Boston shit. This is stupid. You're an idiot, but thank you for the laugh. Fucking moron. <laughs> episodes why am i doing this don't know 20 episodes are you proud of me because i'm proud of me so i don't give a shit if you're proud of me or not. i did this 20 episodes this is great i want to keep the momentum going um also this coffee is running through me so i'm not going to make this long but thank you for joining in for 20 episodes stick around for 20 more tell your friends about it the show's going to get better um yeah but write in, because that's even better. I, I like not having to respond to Redditors and stupid comments and, you know, misogynistic or misandrious statements and, you know, all these woke ass people talking about, you know, how woke they are and these non-therapists telling you all these things and diagnosing you with shit or then being so woke and then telling you to kill yourself because you didn't get your girlfriend a birthday gift. I just need to stay away from that. This is for everyone's sake. Um, but yeah, you know, it's really cool when people write stuff in. So send it in to twitter.com backslash asshole am I the, or uh, am I the a-hole 22 at gmail.com. And then, um, you know, by next week, I should have something up on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is already there, but I'll put it in the, um, in the video for next week. Because uh, today is Friday. Yeah, you know, I got to stay on top of my shit. Thank you for keeping me honest, you butthole surfers. And uh, yeah, let's do this again next week. See you.